Happy Wednesday. Hey, Mike. Hey, Anne. Hey. Aww. How's the cutest couple this side of Twitch? I don't know, but we're doing all right. Hey. <laughs> you don't think we're cute? I don't think I'm cute. I have self-esteem issues. That's my role. <laughs> Quit taking that from me. That's my thunder. Thank you no. for the sub, Crasher. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, current plan. Uh, figure out how to make an alien body for the alien brain that is currently living rent-free in my head. I have found mm -hmm. tissues, I have found skeleton, but I have yet to find organs. Do not know how to locate those. Not sure. Also, my original goal of finding my sister Sam, that's kind of, uh, been suspended for a while. Uh, maybe I should get so. back to that. I don't, I feel like I don't have any leads at this point. I was kind of hoping that as I tried to find an alien body, I'd find uh, some clues, but I've not found anything yet. It's kind of, yeah. kind of frustrating. Also, hello to Scarecrow RC. Hello to uh, Little Freyer. Good to see that you made it. And it's okay, Crasher, don't worry. I'll, I'll be all right. It's all good. All good. We're in a good mood because we were watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Yes. The boiling, the boiling rock episodes. Those were the best. Yeah, it's good stuff. Ooh. Water, don't mind if I do. And I think, I think uh, he is charged something for being in your head. He charges, you charge him one piece of your sanity. There you go. I don't have a whole lot to spare though. Is he stealing it? He's not paying it, he's just stealing it. Yeah. So what are some leads? Let me check all my various waypoints and start turning some of them off, I suppose, the ones that I'm not using. So, I've got Marge's Greenhouse. We might be able to stop over there. You said it's been a while since we've been there. It might, it might, be, a, yeah. might be a good yeah. place to check out. Hat, hat. A lot of people are saying it. Yeah, hat, hat, hat. I had to uh, Aw, yeah. Aw, oh, we're like Aang K Katara. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's very sweet. I could be Zuko. Hello, Zuko here. Hello, Zuko here. <laughs> oh, we better not. We better not rile up the Zutara fans, so... Uh... <laughs> Aren't you one of those? I'm not. Oh, okay. I just, like, Katara was mean to him too, but at the same <laughs> time, she's like the first one who trusted him, so... Uh, uh, like, actually, like, originally they were going to make Zuko and Katara, like, like a couple or originally, something. Originally they weren't going to have Zuko in the story involved all that much. He yeah. was uh, apparently... I, I guess the test audiences liked him so much they decided to keep him around and stuff like that. Yeah. And they created the best character ever. <laughs> uh, Cabbage Man. I was talking about Zuko, but okay. <laughs> Azula? I literally just told you five seconds ago, it's Zuko. Yeah, but what about Azula? She's Azula, pretty cool. I mean, like, she's... She's a pretty awesome villain. I, I guess, like... No. Nope, Why am I sideways? I don't know. <laughs> Annie Xia stopped working uh. anyway, because I just, I was gonna talk about something. I just, I don't even know. It, it's my, uh, maybe I was stuck on the iceberg there. Maybe. So it says there's a laser cutter required here. I dropped that beacon. I'm not sure if that's the, I thought there was a laser beacon, a, a laser cutter needed here, but I think I brought a laser cutter over here and had no success. Okay. Um, Try it. I, I can check it out. I got the laser cutter in my inventory, mm -hmm. and I got the prawn suit traveling with me in case that's what I need instead. I don't know. I don't know. It's a very lovely game. It is. Every time we come back here, it feels great to to look at it. It is very pretty. Yes. Past the squids. Oh, did I hit the squid? I might be. I don't know. This thing is kind of bulky. Mm -hmm. This uh, traveling vehicle is a bit wide. Sea truck. Yeah. Or a bit length lengthy. Not, not quite as wide, I guess. Pretty wide, I guess. Hmm. Have I ever played Persona 5? I haven't played the Persona games, so... I, I do know that there is a character named Anne. Oh, all right. She's kind of the opposite of me. <laughs> How so, I wonder? How hmm. so? I don't know much about it, so... Yeah. Ah, oh, hello, Joshua. Welcome to the stream. We're doing fine. I hope you're doing well as well. Yeah. Oh, down here. Laser cutter required here. Yeah, near this alien tech. So I think it's a laser cutter that I need here. Yeah. And yes, we have watched Hell of a Boss and Has Been Hotel. Yeah. Good <laughs> stuff. 
Okay, so I think right here, yeah, there's like an ice glass wall here. I got, mm -hmm. uh... Did I actually bring the laser cutter with me? I th repair tool, there it is, laser cutter. So I tried the laser cutter on here. Yeah, I'm not seeing much in terms of success. Yeah, no nothing's really working. Um, but I did bring the prawn suit. Maybe the prawn suit drill arm will help me get through there? Hmm. Maybe that's what I need to use instead? I don't know, but I'll, I'm willing to try. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hello, that's me. I'm the captain. All right, so. Uh, she's a high schooler. Well, yeah, I'm not a high school anymore. Um, <laughs> Thanks, boy. I'm no spring chicken. Uh, yeah. An extrovert. Yeah, I'm an introvert. Mm. Yeah. And has a part-time job as a model. I mean, granted, like, I'm, I'm I get it. I'm not that pretty. Oh, that's <laughs> not what they're saying. Still, still. <laughs> Boost? I mean, I got grabby, like this. Yeah, is this how I do it? Is is it not the laser cutter and it's not the drill arm? I'm not sure how I get through here. Is this a, is this a gateway? Do I, do I, do I, do I, ver, do I speed boost into it? How, how do I jump? Nope, that's not right. You can only laser cut this wall from the other side. What? Sometimes video games are silly. <laughs> Well, how do you find the other side? Yeah. We gotta, we gotta look for. Well, if that's the case, then maybe I can find a way, if I just go over top of it, and maybe I'll find a way into a, a facility or something? I don't know. Also, somebody said something about the library of oh. Runia. <laughs> Dang it, I did it again. <laughs> I left the, the actual driving part down here, excuse me. All good. <laughs> Okay, so there's got to be some kind of facility over here I can get on top of or something. Oh, I bet I know what I can do. I, I can get in the prawn suit and uh, hover up here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Right. Let me get, recover my boost. All right, here we go. I, I bumped into the vehicle. Hold on. <laughs> Let me try that again. And... Okay. We're doing it! Almost there yeah. we go. There All we right. Go. We're here now. Have I been here? I don't remember being here. I don't know where we are, but uh, Ooh, we're checking. there's a space. creepy red light. Hooray. Yeah, it's called a sunset, I oh, think. Oh, okay. I thought it was a moose setter <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was something out of a horror movie. Just like, Could have been. yay, atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Is there a facility here or? I don't know. Okay, so if I drop down here, on okay. this side, and I need to go towards, is it this marker? Yeah, laser cutter there. So I gotta go through the island or something. Okay. Cool glowing While you plants. run over fish. Apparently. I don't even see I, if it's so I dark. I heard a little arrow, meow. <laughs> You say I gotta explore the area past the bridge more. Past the bridge? Huh? The area with the bridge that I extended? I guess I haven't checked out everything there, I guess? I, I could have sworn I did. I was there for a, quite a while. Okay. But if it's the hydraulic bridge, then uh, I guess we can go back and check that out again. Uh, uh. That's some sugar because Anne is sweet. Oh, that's kind of a thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're on the... Okay, this is the hydraulic bridge then. So... Okay. Wait, I have a spare power cell this time. I have a battery and a reactor rod, but no spare power cell. All right, let me just grab the, uh... Yeah, let me just grab the extra power cell. Is spinning Voltex spectrum right there? <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, there we go. So many emojis. They're wonderful. Thank you, everyone. Marvelous. Thank you, everybody. There we go. So now I gotta go into storage and grab... Is there a power cell that I brought with me? I could've sworn I did. I brought a lot of stuff. Reactor rod, power cell. There we go, we'll grab that. That way I won't uh, find myself like a fish out of water. Are those jellyfish dangerous? Um, yes, yeah, they are. Apparently they are, yes. Why would you test that out? <laughs> I didn't know it. Why would you test that out? I didn't have concrete evidence. Also, I need my suit. They're not um, actively dangerous, but it's like uh, environmental hazard. Don't want to touch them. It's like when you see a water bottle thingy, or rather a spritzer, that says 
Oh, this is vinegar. And you're wondering, <laughs> oh, I wonder if this is vinegar. And you smell it, and you're just like, oh, it smells like vinegar. I taste it. Uh, I'm gonna dump some baking soda on it, and if nothing reacts. Oh my god. I'm gonna explore the area with the sandworm, and me, I left my thumper at home. Do I have special pollen covers to prevent my converting itself? So <laughs> that's a good idea. I probably should have Get those. Get some <laughs> plug covers. A lady Anne just randomly spawns in his house like a glitch in Skyrim. And yeah, I'd, I'd be like Mike when he was like uh, swimming in midair. <laughs> the episode of Let's Go Fly a Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, it'd probably be faster if I brought the, um, the snow fox. Which I did not do, so you're back. He should, Mike should do the voiceover for like a narrator for Fifty Shades. Just read the entirety of Fifty Shades. I'm sorry, but that honor belongs to the esteemed Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> Thank you very much. Clitoris! <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell is this? Was this erotic? <laughs> 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 oh my god. That's a great video. Yes, it is. I was crying laughing the entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, me too, Major. I miss Gilbert Gottfried too. Yeah, we'll always have the great things that he's done. He was a glorious comedian and forever shall be. Mm -hmm. And a glorious parrot. Glorious. Foul mouth parrot from my youth. Yes. <laughs> well, it wasn't too foul mouthed. Not to my <laughs> if you, if you, Oh, it sits down when you're at it. <laughs> Aww, it waits patiently for you. Well, if you've ever seen his um, performance of the aristocrats. And then the mother and the father start fucking the dog. Oh and my then... gosh. Laumann Krieger? It's always a huge difference when I see Mike and Zack in Skyrim. A lot of chaos. When Anne is out and about, it's always much quieter. Yeah, and Zack doesn't much care for discussing the lore of the game as much, so... I get I, I get my, uh... I suppose, but there's a lot of chaos to be had with mods, so... Yeah. I figured it was the other way around, but I suppose not, you know. It's very enjoyable to, uh, learn about Skyrim and Elder Scrolls lore with you. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna drive around in circles, I guess, until I figure out what I need to do here. Hmm. Just I like last time. I come back from the kitchen. <laughs> I'm the first. <laughs> You're just yelling clitoris. Oh no. <laughs> I guess it's southwest here. Hmm. Hmm. If I had a map, I don't think I have a map though. Well, I guess we're going down here. Whee! Hopefully this doesn't break it. Apparently yeah. it's a jet ski. It works in water. Wait. Um, I don't not know really. about that. No, it not really. It seems to be struggling. Yeah, no, it doesn't really work in water. <laughs> I don't want to access. I upgrades. guess foxes don't really swim. I'm gonna so, put it in my inventory. Uh, put it back in my inventory. Where, where, are, where is the? Put it, there, there, there you go. Okay, so that was a bad idea. Got it. Yeah, Elder Scrolls Six win, right? <laughs> if they don't add. Luma feats in the next the Elder Scrolls all right. Oh yeah, the Vulpine race. Yes, <laughs> I would love to see that. That's so cool. And what about the actual cats? The, it's not Khajiit. That's Khajiit. Oh okay. That, that's... I mean like, what do you mean like a? Uh, I'm talking about like cats? the cat cat the the Khajiit that are actual cat sized. Um, I mean they're actually like a lot more intelligent and they take being treated like house, house cats as an insult so right better not but they're cat sized they're cat sized that doesn't mean like they're average cats no no I, i'm not saying they're cats 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 i'm just saying they're cats cats just confusing what are you saying <laughs> you're just talking in circles I, I, I said they the are word. not like regular cats they may be cat sized <laughs> but they are not like regular cats it is an insult if you treat them like regular cats what do you mean i was just saying the word cats so much it started to lose meaning that's all oh my gosh <laughs> are you uncultured degenerate dumpling that's me <laughs> Driving around on the snow fox, trying to figure out where I'm going, following the right wall. Gonna get attacked by a worm. I feel like I was here and I got the, uh, one of the three artifact, the three alien pieces. Whoa, hello. That was, you see that guy? He was moving at Mach 12. 
crazy. Yes, he was. So that's how he gets around. I guess so. He's made a beeline right for yeah. me. The Khajiit, I, I find the Khajiit fascinating, you know, because there's, uh, like, they don't, like, stick to one, like, generic, like, look. Hmm. Like, uh, like, their looks, like, based on a bobcat or whatever, like, it's based on, like, whatever, like, time they're born in. Like, the moons that they're under. Okay. Like, if one moon is full and the other one is, like, like a new moon, basically, not like not there, like then it's the Khajiit are born in one type of Khajiit, and it's just it's fascinating. It's fascinating how how it works. There's so much deep stuff in the Elder Scrolls. Yeah, there really is. Bye. And and I I I like how they have a sweet tooth too because <laughs> I I technically am a sweet tooth when it comes to having my tea and stuff like that. I'm always having like a sweetener in my tea and stuff, so it's just like, yay, sweetness! <laughs> Can you imagine if you could play as an actual, whatever that race is, like the not cat cat race? Uh, you, you, can you imagine if you had that ability? How how little people would have cared about the game Stray? You can play as a cat. Ah, oh, we've been doing that in Skyrim for ten years. Ah, <laughs> oh, hello, Devil Sara. Welcome, welcome to the stream. And yes, I do like the humanoid me mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, this thing tunnels super duper fast. And half dead, you're making hot sauce this week? Nice. <laughs> so am I a cat? Hmm, well, mm. I mean, in another life, I probably would be, you know? Yeah. I, could, I would love to be a cat to not care about how you look, get fed and petted and praised and have somebody change out my poop for me. <laughs> That's... I mean, if you wait about 60 more years... <laughs> I don't mean that. I mean, like, if I go in a litter box, then the human will immediately take care of it for me. Yes. Wow, uh, no. I have servants. Yay! <laughs> I see. Cats are royalty, I swear. They are. Yes. Not a stray cat. Yeah, I always feel bad for the stray kitties. You know mm. that it breaks my heart that they don't have homes. They yeah. deserve to be in homes. It's like, and it's sad how like I hear some people treat stray cats poorly, and I'm just like, okay, that's to me that's not human. You know, like that's to like treat them like with less than care and love. Mm. Just makes me incredibly angry and sad. Yeah. And puppies, I do like puppies. <laughs> All right, this game needs waypoints. If you haven't done any progress in like two hours, the game should just give you a waypoint. <laughs> Seek fluid and take. <laughs> I don't think that's our primary focus right now. I think it's escaping the. So, are you are you seriously going to watch this poor stalker get eaten? I might. Honey, hey, buddy. Don't chance it. You're, right. you're about to destroy your machine. No, it's still at seventy percent health. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I need to be here though. As much as I would have liked to check out that area behind the laser cutter wall, I've already gotten the architect part here. I'm not sure there's any reason for me to stick around. That might just be like a little bonus area. Hmm. I guess I really feel like they gave me that beacon to that alien area and then I went there and there was nothing there It's kind of maddening, but that's got to be where I need to be I got I got to go to that area and start driving around to figure out what I'm missing Thank you for agreeing with my take awesome guy. I just I just have a soft spot for Sweet baby kitties and I do love puppies too, you know like I've I've had like one or two dogs when I was younger hmm. Um, like, my, my, my first dog was honestly, I felt the best dog in the world. His name was Charlie. He was the most mellow dog in the world. Yeah. He was kind of like a Cocker Spaniel mix, I think. And, like, he didn't bark. He just kind of chilled out, let people pet him. And I remember distinctly, anytime we would have, like, a day where it really snowed hard, like, he would come back with a full thing of snow on his face because he was dragging his head in the ground. <laughs> it's just... It, 
he was the best. He really was the best. Uh, Milo, you said there should be a cave at the northeast wall of the spire biome. All right. Once I've... Actually, I don't need to go all the way back. I need to just repair this thing. And then I can go check it out. My dog is adorable. I got my dog a bandana saying born to sparkle. That's perfect. That is perfect. I love that. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, so that northeast wall, we'll go check that out. We'll go to the spire biome, go to the uh, northeast wall and see if we can't find something. Again, we were here last time for a, a good two hours or so. I feel like we've seen most of everything, but I may have missed a very important cave. That thing moves so damn fast. Yeah, well, He's big enough, he's lived here long enough, and apparently you can phase through all the ice that he just destroyed. Yep, apparently so. You're back to playing New Vegas as a Texan commando. I hope you enjoy it, Crasher. And Major, you spoil your puppy a little too much. I understand, I like spoiling my kitties a little bit, you know? Yeah, they get <laughs> treats way too often. I'm, oh yeah. That's oh, on yeah. me. I named my dog Mr. Stole Your Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Stole Your Girl. <laughs> Run around saying that. Yeah, another dog I had was a uh, uh, Laza Upso uh, named Mac. And he was. Uh, Laza Upsos are known as the lion dog of Tibet, so he thought he was a lot tougher than he actually was. <laughs> and uh, he, he was a real sweet dog. He had a bit of an ear infection, though, mm -hmm. that really bugged him, so. He was a little bit smelly from it, and it made him very uncomfy, especially when my mom had to, like, clean out his ears every day so they wouldn't be bothering him as much. Yeah. That's really sad. Oh, but... there he is. Ooh. All right. Yeah, I never had a dog growing up. Yeah. I mean, you got a dog once. I did. I tried it out, fostered him for a few days. It didn't really work out very well. Hmm. But now you're a cat man. Yeah. Cats love Mike's lap. His lap is super warm. Yeah, I like to curl up to you. Jojo is just a butterball, I feel like. Yeah, he's been so incredibly sweet. He's just been loving us and just loving to be on our laps, and yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah, dogs with floppy ears are prone to ear infections. I figured as much, you know. Like, it's best to, like, let them air out their ear a little bit. Yeah. Stuff like that, but um, yeah, poor Mac. I remember though, like he had his cute moments, like being like. At one point, like my family and I were all together in the living room, and uh, he started standing on the fireplace and crying, oh. and we were just like, "Aw, what's wrong, Mac? What's wrong?" And my sister figured it out. She was just like. I think he wants to be tall. <laughs> uh, we are doing well. Thank you for asking. Thank you. And welcome to the stream, Viking. How does Anne know about Mike's warm lap? Well, <laughs> well, I hug him enough, so he's basically a furnace. Hence, uh, yeah, yeah. Mike burned fire. Mm -hmm. So... And except for my feet. My feet are always cold, apparently. Ah, uh, hey, that happens with my feet, too. The extremities tend to suffer the most when it comes to that. Ooh. So... <laughs> Bones? Have I been here? Not sure. I don't know. Bone Garden. I don't remember this place. Wow, there's a dead one. What? Wow. There's a dead one. Wow. Scan him. A, a dead... You can actually scan the dead I ice scanned worm. the dead ice worm. Oh, so I didn't have to run up to the one that was active and trying to kill me. Could I just scan the dead one? Marvelous. <laughs> Covered in a thick exoskeleton with backward facing spikes. <laughs> the horn is the thickest part of the creature. Aw, the yeah. The horror is you constantly running at something that constantly wants to eat and kill you when you could have literally just found the dead body that was literally right here. Well, I didn't know it was right here. This is a brand new find for me, and I'm mm. fine with that. A whole new corpse. <laughs> <laughs> a whole new pain. Look at me, I'm on the horn. <laughs> I'm on the horn of Africa. I'm all horny, yay. <laughs> all right. Ah, I think I'm done here. You deserved that. <laughs> you deserved that. <laughs> I scanned it, which is great. Is that the only thing it's there for? Is so I can scan it without putting myself at Why great risk? Why is it dead, though? The other 
ice worms try and kill each other? Okay. Well, that, that, would, that would make sense. What if it's not dead? What if it's pretending? What if I'm walking into its mouth like an idiot because I'm falling into its trap? Look at how many teeth it's got! That's a lot of... Oh, wow. Goodness Honestly, me. Honestly, it's kind of hard to tell because everything seems a little, like, glitched in together. I, 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 it's hard for me to tell. Sorry. Ignoring all the different pop-ups on, like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> on the sides there! Never mind! I wasn't paying attention to that. I was paying attention to the roof of his mouth <laughs> for some reason. I'm trying to look for, like, these teeth, and all I was finding was, like, white teeth. Teeth, 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 teeth. Yep. It's, oh, yeah. This monster is 80% teeth. Okay. I don't know if it died of natural <laughs> oh, causes. Oh, Crasher. We know you're always horny, Mike. I hope you find the Thomas the Tank Engine teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know what that is, and I don't know if I want to know. Ah, oh, come on! Yeah, stupid thing. I'm driving sideways. Spawn nearby <laughs> failed. What? Oh, wait. More bones. Ice worm bones! Surprising degree of flexion in them. Allows the bones to compress inward when the ice worm is burrowing. Okay. Hmm. This is an issue. Oh boy. Uh, hey, just took it free. All right. You could have, what you could have done was uh, put it back in storage and then put it back out so that you could like not suffer those glitches. Yeah, that would have been my plan B. Uh, I guess I'm done in this particular area unless what's, there's some. What's the sparkly? Oh, it's silver. Oh, it's silver. Copper and it silver. It was very pretty sparkly. Yeah, it was. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if I needed to find that worm there, but I found it. Check that off the list of things to do, I suppose. Well, what about your sister, dang it? Yeah. <laughs> Ma maybe how do you it... progress in that? I don't yeah. understand how you progress in that. Well, I, yeah. I, I, apparently, I haven't checked out this particular biome. Hello, is there a glowing thing over here that I'm missing? What's this uh, green light over here? Uh, is that alien technology? It's alien tech, but does that do anything for me? I'm not sure. Do I go down this hole where the alien tech is it protruding from? Have I already done that? I can't I'm not remember. sure, but how do you get it Ow. Ow! To the other side. Ow! Ow! Ah, you suck. I'm, I'm driving away. And I'm driving away. Driving, I'm driving, driving. 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 Go away so I can go in that direction. Go away. Thank you. Okay, so take a left here. Um, I guess I'll hop off. Put this back in my pocket. And then, ooh, all right. Drop a save and drop on down. Oh boy. What's the safest way down? Oh, just ride the worm tail. Oh, I missed it! Ah! All right, it's okay. I brought, uh, I brought health packs. <laughs> Glad you did, guys. Okay, so have I checked this out yet? This goes to nothing. No, oh, wait. Hey, ho, hey, have I, have I been down here? I don't know. Looks like alien tech to me. Have we already been here? Probably, Ellen's not saying anything. I think I already scanned some of the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we've been here before. Yeah, yeah, almost certainly. Yeah, that's the flesh that you, the flesh sample that you got because one of them was crushed underneath the rock. Right, so this is where I got one of the three major alien pieces. So, already been here. Can I stop breaking my legs for five seconds? Mm. Okay, seven seconds is my record though. All right. Back on this thing. Um. It's forever gone. <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> um. Looks like you're going on foot. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> oh no. It's 44 meters. It's 40 meters down. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, why don't we, um, load from that save? <laughs> <laughs> well, that happens. <laughs> the snow fox it wanted like, out. I'm not sticking around for this nonsense. <laughs> I'm not sticking around so that I can be damaged even more by those ice worms. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so... So uh, we've already been down there before. Yeah. So let's not chance that again so that we don't bury our snow fox beneath the map. <laughs> right. So we, we might... Four months will. Hey, oh, thank you for the four months sub, Bloodfang. Thank and you very much. stream. Welcome. 
so yeah um we've already been here and gotten the major alien thing i don't know how to get to that laser wall might not be a big problem um i guess we'll check out artifact pk8 again that's where i went last time and i couldn't figure out where i needed to go but i believe that is kind of what i need so I, I, I honestly don't have any other leads at this point i'll get back in the ship and start driving towards artifact pk8 play sad trumpet 21 salute trumpet. Wop, 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 wa na 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 Use feedback menu to report bugs. Oh, I got a bug to report for ya. That guy. <laughs> that guy. I'm not sure if he's a bug or a quotation, but he's obnoxious. Whee! Away I go! Do I need yes. some pointers? Yeah, I, I might need a bit of, uh, a bit of assistance. Yeah. Cause I, I have hit a kind of a brick wall here. I like these Subnautica games a lot, don't get me wrong, but they have uh, a lot of places where I can just, I feel like I don't i don't know what I'm doing anymore. Mm. I've done everything, it, it feels kind of like those old King's Quest games. Yeah, I just need to. Sure, sure. Oh, oh, Petey! Oh, Petey! oh no, Petey fell off no. your lap. He landed on his feet, but I hope he's okay. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine, yeah. Petey! Okay. Does Subnautica Below Zero take place on the same planet? And if so, how in far? I think it takes place 20 years after the events of the first game, and I don't know if it's the same planet. It's got a lot of the same fish. I would imagine it is the same planet because otherwise, a lot of the native flora and fauna colonized a new planet, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Let me repair this thing. It's kind of broken right now. It is after the first game and on the same planet. Yeah. Could be a sister planet. I don't think this thing has sister planets. It does have a couple of orbiting satellites, though. I went past some ladders. Yeah. I've, like I said, I, I was here last time and I spent a good two hours taking every ladder, going up and down every ladder, checking out every crevice. And I, I feel like I may have missed a few things, but I don't have a map. I can't really mark the places I've checked. I, yeah. I feel like I am just kind of largely done with this unless there's unless somebody knows of a, a place I definitely need to go to progress but I feel like all of the plot important stuff here has been checked off the list do Tremel's algorithm if only I had I guess I, I could make like a bunch of markers place a bunch of markers down I've already got a lot of markers as it is though <laughs> How are my eyes doing? Well, thank you for asking, Jay Horse Garden. After the LASIK surgery, my eyes are doing well. I've been uh, putting in the eye drops every once in a while. It's starting to wind down. Ran out of the uh, prescription antibiotic eye drops and the steroidal air eye drops because I only had like a week's worth. And that's, uh, yeah, they've run their course and they've done their job and everything's fine. So yeah, the LASIK surgery was a success. Welcome aboard, Captain. Have I found the frozen creature? Yeah, I just found the frozen dead ice worm. That's, uh... The one thing that I found while I've been here for an hour is uh, the corpse of an alien. That didn't really offer me any new information, but I was able to scan it, so that was nice. I no longer have four eyes, correct. I no longer have to use eye, the, the contact lenses or the glasses. You say there's a small cave at Phi Base that my sister stashed something. I think I checked out the majority of Phi Base. Yeah, the only lead I have right now, yeah, I'm looking for my sister. Uh, but I've, I've kind of hit a wall with that and I'm still looking for a body for Alan and I uh, kind of hit a brick wall with that. I got artifact PK8 over here and I went there and Alan said, this is cool. And then nothing happened. It's kind of a bummer. Also, my vehicle's kind of damaged. Let me get out and repair that. There we go. The Frozen Leviathan is so cool. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in this game, honestly. A lot of great stuff. But I have the same problem with it that I have in the first one, where sometimes I just feel like I... Well, I've done everything that I know where I can go, and there's no waypoint or no guide telling me what I need to do next, and I guess I'll just look it up online. Guess I'll just beat the game by getting some outside information. In one of the logs, she says she stashed the antidote in a pengu cave. Antidote for what? The green spotty disease? Because I don't think I can contract that. There's no self-scan on this particular version of the scanner. Ah, I'm just going to enjoy this nice, nice quiet music. 
It's very faint right now. You probably can't even hear it. I can barely hear it. Mm. So yeah, I'm looking for... I'll double check one more time. It's a bike and it hovers, yes. So I'm looking for alien organs, I believe it was called. I don't know how to construct this body, but I do know that I'm missing the blueprints for the architect organs. So that is what I am currently trying to find. I think I saw someone mention, or not someone, I think the deep chasm might be where I need to go, which would make sense since it's roughly the same depth and not too far away from each other, it looks like. Yeah, okay, so if I go to Architect, Artifact, PK-8, and then drive towards the Deep Chasm, that might be how I make progress there. You say you missed the Seamoth, the Sea Truck is really slow. Yeah. It'd be nicer if you could detach modules to increase your speed. That way I would leave a lot of the storage modules back at base and just zip around. Or I could just install mods. I'm sure there are mods that make this thing faster. All right, I'm gonna wedge myself in here as I have been. Yep, drove right into it, got stuck immediately. All right, all right, this is dumb. Artifact is right over here, actually. I'm still about a thousand meters away, so let me just go over here instead. You say the map in Below Zero is pretty small compared to the first game, if you're not mistaken? Yeah, I don't have a problem with that, honestly. I feel like uh, a lot of games are just too big these days. You know, we've all been there. We've all, we've all been playing an open world game. It, it feels like it takes forever to get anywhere. Have I been to the Crystal Caves? I don't believe I have. I've seen a lot of caves with crystals in them, though, so maybe I have. Good night, Major. Good night, Major. I'm back, sorry. Good night, little Freyr. Thanks for joining us on the stream. Hey. And good luck with your homework. Yeah. Uh, so did you get any pointers? Um, I'm heading toward the Artif- That monster's back again. I'm heading towards the Artifact PK-8. You mean what? the shrimp thingy? The... Okay, yeah, it's just that one right there. Yeah, yeah. So the alien arc, the uh, alien artifact is over here. I think I might need to go toward the deep chasm because we're in a similar area. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm being told I might need to go towards some kind of shard cave. Have I looked at a guide? I quickly looked at a guide. I don't want to spoil myself too much. I think it said the deep chasm is where I need to go. I, I marked the deep chasm over there. It might be, that might, might not be the chasm it's referring to. So here is where Alan wanted me to come. Here we are. Artifact PK-8, but there's not much else here. You don't think there's anything to do? Yeah, I've already gotten out, tried to scan this thing, tried to drill this thing, tried to put uh, ion cubes in this thing. You have to explore deeper in the caves in the purple vent biome. Purple vent biome. I don't know, unfortunately, where that is, because there's no map. Mm. Is there a map, actually? I don't think there is. Yeah, photo manager. Yeah. So I've been down here. Yep, that's that's where death is. I'm not, maybe not death, but I'll take some damage. You, I, we were at the purple vents just a minute ago. Oh, you mean those streams of... Do we have to go back up? I don't know. I guess I'll try. Try, try going back up. Okay. We already scanned it and unmarked it, they're saying. I could turn off the waypoint. Yeah. Right now, I've got a bunch of beacons. I only have the ones that are turned on if I think they're relevant to what I'm currently doing, so... Yeah, Artifact, Artifact, Architect Artifact PK-8 is the last known thing I needed to go to. Uh, go up some more. Yeah. Let's see. If they have the purple vents, be careful of the giant thing up there. Yeah, I gotta try and go around him. Look around. So see I'm guessing there's... toward the deep, deep chasm over in this direction. Um, if I follow, actually, yeah, if I follow this, if I follow yeah, this small yeah. chasm, it's like a little breadcrumb, breadcrumb trail might take me where I need to go. Hello! Oh, hello. Gosh, hey. Good to see you too. You know, it's, it's always a good time whenever you're around. Thank you, thank you very much. Leave our things alone. Leave them alone. <laughs> the nope fish. Yep, he's returned. Oh god, there's so many there's of them actually. There's a lot of them now. Okay. Oh no, I bumped oh, into a flower. No. It knocked me off course. I'm gonna drive down deeper. They can't follow me. I don't think. Get up, little fish. Get that guy instead. Let me just quickly get out and uh, repair my ship. In case I get grabbed, it doesn't destroy me again. Those those little guys who keep stealing your knife, they can steal something off of the nope fish. Yeah, steal their teeth. Do that. <laughs> Yay! 
Jojo's here. Hey, Joe. Ah, uh, Jojo's curling up on your lap now. <laughs> this is the third time he's cuddled on my lap today. <laughs> deep Maybe <chasm>. even more. <laughs> okay, so there is a deep chasm that I've marked. I'm, okay, yeah. We've got to be getting closer, I think. We'll just head toward the deep chasm waypoint that I left down here. Yeah, I don't think I have a defensive add-on. I might, have, I might have a module. You can see the module I currently have installed. I think that, that last one might be defense. That might be a depth module. So here we are. There's a deep chasm waypoint. See fluid intake. Hello. Drinky drink. Are we going towards lava? Probably. So uh, we're at this biome with the purple pustule plants. You see, I should go to the marge base and look for a deeper way. I could try and go down deeper and deeper, but I feel like... I've gone pretty deep before and explored a lot of what was down here. You say I should go to the Marge base and look for a deeper way. Well, there's got there's two Marge bases. There's this one. A Marge greenhouse or just Marge? <laughs> yeah, I got Marge greenhouse and Marge. So I guess I'll go towards her, yeah. her first base. Yeah, the first base is probably uh, where we should go, honestly. Okay. There might be some interesting things to explore with her her stuff there. We'll try, yeah. She's at the, she has the greenhouse, so we can probably loot her stuff like we do with Doc Mitchell. Uh, <laughs> in the first of that. We have base. a bunch of garbage there. Not the greenhouse. Got it, got it. All right. So just her base. Two marriages base. Um, modded Baldur's Gate. Should you reclass to a vanguard, white mage, or blood hunter first? Uh, Blood Hunter sounds pretty cool. It's a hmm. cool title. I don't know anything about it though. Does it have something to do with vampires? I have a feeling there's something to Maybe. do with vampires. Okay. There's a vampire in the game, as far as I know. <laughs> you decided to watch a playthrough of Valkyria Chronicles and found we had a series of it from five years ago. Was not expecting that, knowing that we mainly play, you know, it's mainly from Fallen New Vegas. Our soldiers are really prone to getting hit with armor piercing shits. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, the, the, uh, the, the fun series that Zach and I did on Valkyria Chronicles. Poor Dallas! Poor Dallas! Mm. She could not stop getting hit with mortars. Okay, so here we are at Marge's house. Hey, Marge! Also, Veda Phoenix says they hope you're fantastic. Hey, it's Veda Phoenix! Hey, I'm doing well, thank you. Oh. Hope you're doing well as well. And there's her prawn suit! Did you already scan the, uh, arm thingy? Yeah, it looks ah. like it. Because I can't scan it again. Mm. I thought I had scanned it previously. Kitty's still cute. Oh, you know it. Jojo's being all curled up, being a curly boy in lap, and currently Petey is losing his mind playing with a small plastic spring. Okay, back at her house. Uh, you again. Oh. Hmm. Hi. Yeah, me again. So, want to help me out with what I'm doing or what? No? Cool. Thanks. Uh Oh, only in other only other NPC in this game and she's insufferable. Well, this is her house With her. Oh, I can take her abandoned PDA pair ah, yeah. She doesn't mind that I just run around in her house very well Guess I haven't been th back this far previously. So now I am <laughs> You again Hmm in case I forgot what she said previously A fortnight into our voyage I was more or less living inside the creature's rib cage. It meant shelter, and it meant food. The flesh was starting to rot. The stench was unlike anything I'd ever smelled. As we floated, the temperature dropped, Ooh. and the rotten meat began to stiffen and freeze. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the Reaper began to lose buoyancy. We sank a little each day. My sanctuary was becoming my tomb, and I was at the mercy of the current and the winds. Just get in your bathroom. Until one day, I saw a smattering of penguins in the distance. Swimming birds usually mean solid land of some kind. I was lucky. The winds followed their path. Hours later, I saw a blessed sight. An unmoving cloud sitting upon the water. Land. It renewed my spirit as I watched the land get closer and closer. The Reaper slowly sank, but I was no longer worried. When the Reaper finally sank below the water, 
I was close enough to lazily swim my way to shore. That must not have been that deep. I made a note to come back for the Reaper Skull. Which you did. I didn't ride the beast for three weeks to have no proof. Land never felt so good. Even in this Arctic hell. So are all these bones from that one Reaper Leviathan thing? Also, you put a table on it, but the table is kind of, I guess, glass. It, this seems like it would be incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> oh yeah, just sit right here and just jam your knee into the shards of a an alien spine. Well, this feels like I still haven't accomplished much. Large emerald. Uh, no. help. The personality of very spiteful toast. She can build a, a giant base with a working bathroom, but not a proper bed. Or a, a proper table, either, from the looks of it. You say there's a cave entrance next to her base. Did I miss that? How you doing? Good? Good? How you doing? Cold? You're as cold as ice. Just, uh, playing some bejeweled on your pad there. All right, cool. Have fun. I steal your mech? No. Very well. Mine's better anyway. Why doesn't she build a spaceship to get out? I don't know. She's a very perplexing individual, that one. Oh, hello, purple crystals. That's kind of cool. Maybe I haven't been here yet? Have I? I don't think so. I, I, I found... Oh, they're saying that's it. Okay, that's good. Little green worm boy, a little green glow worm boy. Okay, I got a couple of them down here. A bladder fish. Um, some of these crystals might be kyanite crystals, but I got plenty of kyanite as it stands. You say all I gotta do now is go deeper. All right. Oh, hey, you know, I got enough kyanite, but, uh, eh, you know, my, while I'm here, might as well grab the blue one. Yoink! Down here? I guess, yeah, I guess I'll just keep on, uh, delving. Oh, one, of, one of those, uh, yeah, those mantis shrimp creatures. Keep your mm. distance. Might punch a hole in the hull of this ship. Might just start drawing a map. I don't know if that would help me all that much. But maybe! You know, I mean, having a, a notepad out did help me when I was playing in the Outer Wilds' DLC. How do I descend? Is there like a deeper chasm over here? Me. Yeah, it's cool looking. Hello, brand new Shan. We're doing all right. Yeah. I hope you're doing well. Having a... everyone in the chat is doing well. Yeah, having a very relaxing time. Ooh, here we go. Here's how we get deeper. A prawn suit arm. It's all right, I already, already got mine. It's fine. Another mantis shrimp. Down at uh, 640 meters, the uh, caboose of this ship is a little damaged. We're going to have to get out and fix that in a bit, but that's fine. It's not urgent at the moment. Mm -hmm. Ah, deeper chasm here at uh, 680 meters. Good. All right. Oh, boy. Yeah, it looks a little bit tight, though. This does look a bit tighter. Could All right. Could go in with the prawn suit, maybe? Could go in the prawn suit, you might wanna yeah. might want to save here first. Yeah, drop a save. Good idea. All right, we'll go down with the prawn suit and, uh... Calorie intake recommended. And we'll eat something before we dive down, you know. Numb. 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 Okay. Here we go! Oh, yeah, you're right. Thank you. There we go. Almost full health. Now we're at, uh, 750 meters. Seeing more kyanite crystals. I could drill it. It's a thing I can do. Give me some of that blue crystal, that delicious blue crystal. You're gonna make me some Kool-Aid. It's getting tighter. This is gold? That's gold. What are those? Uh... These little dodecahedron looking things? Yeah. Well, I uh, can't destroy them. I think I already scanned them. I think it's just uh, some weird, weird plant creatures. Not even creatures, just weird plants. Do I get out and dive deeper still? Apparently, this is just a loot cavern, though. A loot cavern? Yeah. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot here. There's I mean, a lot of kyanite and gold, but that doesn't mean we're going to find our objective here. Yeah, that's not going to help me. I've already got a stockpile of kyanite that I've uh, brought back to base. You say it's not in these small crevices. Just follow the main giant cave area deeper. Hmm. I thought I was doing that. Oh, hey! Picking up the signature of an important item belonging to my people. About time, Alan! I will share its location. Okay. Where is it? Oh, green Signal one. location uploaded to PDA. That took you a while, Alan, but thank you for giving me some guidance. That's what I needed. 
So we're heading over there. Artifact Z13. All right, we finally have an update on where we're going. Aww, thanks for the, the dance party, guys. Yeah, nice. thank you. Yeah, that's 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 different. Run, oh, it sees me. That sees me, Greg. That's different looking thing. Yeah, he don't much care for me. I'm gonna. I'm, oh, I didn't destroy myself. I'm very close to death though. All right, we're gonna hide the crystals here and recover from that. There we go. Wow, he really did a number on this thing. Yikes. All right, well, I think this is a new area. I don't think I've been here before. I think I would have remembered that guy. I think that's the scan. <laughs> I'm trying to scan my yeah. own ship. <laughs> you say it's not there. The green waypoint is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking at the wrong one. Well, is, is it it? I, the green one is the one that just popped up. Yeah, I've made everything blue once I've been to it. Um, yeah, this is the new one, Z13. I have not been here yet. Hmm. So, I uh, guess we'll go there and check that out. Here. What's going on here? I guess we could try and find the deeper crevice that was that was mentioned, but yeah, I guess we'll drive around a bit. Unless I'm driving backwards. There's a collection of crystals you need to go down, they're saying. Oh. Uh, There's a lot of crystals. There's right so here. many crystals. It's so it's so tough to navigate this area. Yeah. There's some crystals here. The crystals in this environment are confusing my senses. And yet I feel certain there is something important to be learned. Perhaps oh, come on! Or a body component. Perhaps both. Fascinating! Thank you, Alan. Much appreciated. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Is um, that the collection of crystals? Because it's pretty big. Yeah, I can just hide in here and repair my ship, I suppose. Ah, yeah, go down here. There you go. That's a good spot. Is it just the, uh, the, the uh, lead engine that's damaged? Everything else is fine. The caboose is all good. Good, good, good. Okay, here we are. Going down. Uh, what are we gonna we find? Go. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. Finally know where we're going. There's definitely something of value nearby. It could help you build my body. That's what I was looking for. I was very important to me. I see a lot of crystals. And I see more crystals. And a path down this way? Alien artifact? Little uh, alien piece right there? Can't, probably can't interact with that, but uh, it, it's it's something to mark the way. Looking around, anything new? Yeah, purple crystals mixed with alien tech, and there's something. Yeah. Are we able to swim in there? I've already been here once before. <laughs> Have we? Apparently so. Because I left a beacon here. What's this beacon called? Uh, oh. Never mind. It's called... Once I can get to the front face part of it. Meow. Yes, Petey. It says meow on it. Strange alien force field. Here we are at strange alien force field. Wow. It's like an amethyst wonderland. Oof. Yeah, the, uh... My repair tool is... Need, need a new battery soon after all that repairing Whoa, I had to do. Oh, <laughs> look at this place. Yeah. It's pretty cool, all right. Like a bunch of rock candy. Oh, I may have oh. found this place <laughs> while I was uh, looking for raw materials. I never went inside it. I forgot about it. Or maybe I just didn't have the Alan in my head. Mm. Yeah, I may have been down here once before without Alan. Here you Is go. Is that the component? Hello. <gasps> Apparently, I have not been down here. There you go. Architect component. Is that what your organs look like? You will be able to construct bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. So that's not really scan all the components <laughs> we need to make a storage uh, body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body. I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. So, we got organs. Apparently I didn't come down here to scan this. Is this a graveyard? Is it? Is this, uh... I don't, is it... I thought it... Oh, hey! Oh, a little, oh hello! A little crabby boy. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder why I didn't scan this last time I was here and dropped the beacon. Did I just not go in here, or did or this... Or maybe it wasn't available to yeah. you yet. Maybe it wasn't available it until I have alien in my brain. I don't know. It's possible that this could have been a morgue, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, we so have very, the... very 
pretty morgue. Yeah, it's a beautiful morgue. Bury me with my crystals. Yeah, maybe Bury I. Bury uh... me with my rock candy. <laughs> It's grape flavored. Mm, grape flavored rock candy. Oh, what a delicious treat for the afterlife. <laughs> no. The dude's organs look like he smoked a lot of alien cigarettes. They they were quite dark organs, weren't they? Maybe they were calcified. I don't, I don't know. Oh, what? Grape's not good enough for you? Would, it rather, would you rather it be licorice? <laughs> anything but banana flavored. <laughs> Why anything but banana? What's wrong with banana? Banana flavored candy does not taste like bananas. <laughs> Hi, Al Alan. <laughs> we have gathered the necessary components to begin constructing my body. Correct. Great. What's next? Let's get you out of my head. First, you must find the fabrication facility. It is concealed at some depths. Fabrication facility? So you planned on needing to make new bodies? It is a standard medical facility. A medical facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Sounds a little beyond standard to me. Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. So, what were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. So, what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then- Please, Robin, you have the components. Find the facility and construct the body. Okay, but- don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. He just doesn't want to talk about it. Doesn't people wanna... have boundaries, you know. Hmm. But he's not a people, and also his, his boundaries might uh, be him trying to not tell me about very mission critical information. Well, I guess now we'll check out C13. I mean, technically, he kind of crossed boundaries when he entered your head. But yeah, I so? didn't quite consent to that, but eh, it was kind of chaotic. He just tried to be respectful. What did that facility make, though? New bodies? They, they just made bodies for the aliens, eh? Hmm. I mean, if I could make a new body, if, if, if at the age of 50 I could make a, a new body and pop myself into that and keep myself forever young, active, and healthy, yeah. I, I could see myself wanting to do that. I don't know if I want to detach my whole body and look at, like... Like, look through the lens of a human being at them, like, staring at your innards. Yeah, I it's mean... It's a little creepy. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, it's the final result that I'm interested in, having a, a new body, that the process of being transferred might be horrifying. You know what's horrifying? That thing that keeps on injuring your shit. I'm gonna hide behind these purple crystals. I'm hiding. No, I'm hiding. I'm hiding in the purple. You suck. I'm hiding in the purple crystals. Leave me alone. Punch him. Punch him. Shoot the shoot the torpedoes. Full speed ahead. I'm having to look in this gross looking like, hugger. They don't. I don't. Gross inside. Give me his, his little pincer they face. Look, they look like They look literally look like uh, alien face huggers. Yeah. They really do. You got the face of pincer from Pokemon, which is not one of the, the creatures that I would care for. Too gross looking. Hey, Peter, how you doing? Meow. He says. <laughs> and now we repair again. You're asking if the body would be a new you or would that simply be another entity with the same memories? Uh, the same, the same problem with like the teleporter. Yeah, there he is. When your body is reconstituted, are you you or are you a new person with the same memories? Yes. There's a video game, I think, that uh, Soma tackled similar concepts. Well, once we find our way back up here, yeah, we'll head back to Marge, and then we'll get back to the surface, and then we can start making our way towards Z13. hey -o! Hello, Marge. Quite a nice underwater house you got here. And goodbye. I wonder if she realizes that she's right beside, like, that giant face hugger. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Marge, I found some treasure. Why don't you go 500 meters east? You'll love it, I promise. You remember in Remnant from the Ashes where a DLC added a teleporter area, and if you go to a specific spot, you can see your own body, your old body being burnt to a crisp and being dropped into a pit. It was actually killing you and making a new you each time you teleported. Yeah, that's kind of what it's doing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's kind of what a teleporter does. It's kind of horrifying, but it's also kind of sci-fi fantasy, cool in a way. All right. Almost back towards the surface. Where was green? There's green. All right, towards C13. Mm -hmm. That's the next destination. Maybe that's where the alien body making thing is. Because I got all the organ blueprints. 
Or maybe that's where my sister is. My sister's just been there for a hundred days, checking out this alien artifact. Not sure what to do about I'm it. Not really sure about that part, but it's just. I feel like. Seriously, this does feel like Fallout 4, where you're tasked on finding your son, <laughs> and you find like five million other things to do. Yep. Like. I was trying to find my sister. Now I'm building an alien body. You know, if and I, then we visit a greenhouse, and then we build our own place, and then we go all over the place to find a bunch of penguins. Yeah. And then apparently we kidnap stalker babies. In my defense, if the alien, once they have a new body, agrees to help me look for my sister, it might make things easier in the long run, because two pairs of eyes are better than one. And maybe the alien itself has like 12 sets of eyes, so 13 sets of eyes are better than one. Not to be a Debbie Downer, but I feel like this is a... Uh, uh, I don't know if I trust this architect. Yes. Like, what's gonna happen after he gets a body? Like, what exactly is going to happen? What's he gonna do? That's a fair point. We might have to ki uh, put a, a fail switch in him, like a, a fail deadly switch, where if he decides to try and betray us for whatever reason, mm. we can just, um... Uh, oh, we can tie his life to ours, so if we die, he dies. That'll give him incentive to not kill us. Also, I think it had wings? Like, were some of those organs looking like wings? Because it, it kind of felt like that. Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought it was an alien there as his ice flows. Yeah. <laughs> Explain how you got a Royal Marine, a random girl, and two dragons to play Black Ops. Ah, uh, the dragon bar is even curious. Yep, that's the most curious. Where are you even to find two dragons? Willing to play Call of Duty with you. For some reason, I thought they were referring to us in code speak. <laughs> like, you're the Royal Marine, I'm the random girl, and our cats are the two. <laughs> Dragons. Two dragons who want to play Black Ops. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like I might have like uh, like skipped over a few words when I was reading that. Uh. So now we're back in the exact same place I was poking around earlier, not sure what I was doing. Yeah. Can I go through this? Is it going to be too slim? It's a tight squeeze. It's a tight squeeze. Squeeze, but we're here. All right, cool. All right, and this is a dead end. Cool. I mean, like, on the side, there were some lights, like, to your right. Hold on, let me um, get out and check around. Oh, there you go. You're right. Thank you. Of course. Let me just hop in this thing. While saving, yes. Well, the captain. There we go. Eh. All right, here are the lights. Here's a cave. Here's the green. Okay, it's too small. Too, too, too small a crevice. <laughs> and you hurt yourself, of course. It happens. Wait, uh, do you want to pick up a little? This Ooh. site is yeah. one of some significance. Its data will assist us on our quest. Hold on, I get it, chili peppers. Yeah, I didn't I'm get injured coming down here, but you know what they say? You can't make an architect without breaking a few legs. <laughs> Ah, uh, the slow turn. The slow disapproving turn of your head. <laughs> uh, this is a pretty cool looking area, though. Italian data bank. Gorgeous. Yeah. I poked. Ah, I got poked. Ah. No, I'm admiring the alien artifact. So am I, <laughs> while punishing you for a bad pun. And lights. Ooh, I do can we, scan these. Do, do we really not have, like, a, a, an official lantern? You can craft the dedicated head headlamp, but I haven't done that. Because this works just as well. Seed short. Ooh, a teleport. New technology acquired. What? Teleportation module. Oh, teleporters. T tether tool. Okay. Alan doesn't really have much to say about this, huh? I guess not. I guess the only thing I came down here for is the teleportation blueprint. Well, okay. I suppose. Oh, so I guess I gotta go back to base now and make the teleportation module for the sea truck so I can teleport more. I guess. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I mean, I, I risk it everything. Uh, you might uh, wanna drink something, darling. Yeah. That that was not drinking something. It was eating a 
pepper. That's <laughs> true, but it did just the same amount of I'm hydrate. surprised it didn't, like, deprive you of, like, fluid. Yeah, you'd think it'd be sweat. Because it's a hot pepper, yeah. you know? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's not a hot pepper. Maybe it's a chili pepper. Well, don't they do the same thing? <laughs> no, it's chili. It's cold. No. <laughs> no, you, you and I are thinking, like, on two different levels here. I was I can't believe this K was right here and I didn't even see it. Like I was here going across that bridge. I went to across that bridge a half dozen times and yeah, oh, the cave right there had the teleportation docking thing here. All right, well, I guess back to base. Do you have the prawn suit attached? Ooh, yeah. Thanks for heads up on that. I do. Good, good, good. <laughs> you don't want to leave it behind. Mm-hmm. Because because I feel like you were going literally everywhere but the place you were supposed to go with that thing. <laughs> Nah. Joe! <laughs> pulling down my shirt. Stop it. Ah, uh, Jojo's eating your headphones and you're ripping oh up your God. shirt. Stop biting me! <laughs> Let go of my shirt! <laughs> That's you're writing being such a butt. Oh, I got distracted. I hit a squid. <laughs> Did you actually kill the squid? Um. Yeah, it's sinking now, I think. Oh my gosh, that is depressing. <laughs> He's, he's one of those that dies with his eye open. Oh, oh my no. lord. Oh, they kind of do look like giant eyeballs, don't they? Yeah. Dude, that's weird. I'm surprised you never noticed that. Yeah. I've been noticing that for a while. Oh, he's still kind of shiny. Is he okay? Buddy, you all right? Oh, you killed him. You okay? Oh, you killed him. Yeah, he's, he's fine. Right. No, he's not. Back he's, to base. He's staring at his killer. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he got to witness the uh, one who killed him in death, and he's cursing you now. It's like we were just talking about watching yourself die from a different body. <laughs> Ow, Joe. Oh, Joe, you're getting a little too feisty, is he? Yeah. So All right. Gotta get up. Joe, Joe, time to get up, buddy. Uh, well, we've actually made a bit of progress. Do you think we should start wrapping up the stream? Are you sure? I mean, I don't want to, like... Well, we can go for an hour and a half. We made some progress. We can come back, you know. We can, we can do these uh, short, frequent streams. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Sure. We can uh, head back to base and call it... You know, it's almost been two hours, too, so, you know. Yeah. Um, where... Oh, yeah, it's this way. Yeah, I've been noticing those things for a while, and I was just like, wow, they've got, like, giant eyes inside of their heads, yeah. you know? I never really thought of them as eyes, but... What did you think of them as? Um, I just thought of them as, uh, squids with, the, like, um, tentacles that were, like, almost, like, glow sticks. Like, the, the, the tentacles were, like, pulsating with, uh, like, rave energy at like, a nightclub. Mm. But, uh, yeah, when you mention the eyeball, it's kind of hard to not see it. Yeah, that's actually the first thing I noticed about them. Their tentacles, I kind of like, I kind of noticed the purple going off of them, but I just mostly noticed their eye. That was pretty much uh, very, like it was kind of in my face. Yeah. It was in my face about yeah. it. So. And then I drove directly into him, and he, it, 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 he went to the sea floor. He was all sad. Yeah. He was like, "Oh, he didn't see me, and he hit me, and that makes me sad. I'm going to slink down now." And pretend to be dead, but not actually be dead, because that would be, that would be sad. I'm, I don't know. I'm pretty sure he might be dead. <laughs> I'm I, pretty sure if you he, he, you he kept on getting tapped, he would eventually like boost away like as fast as he could. If I if I ran into every one of those squids there, I left a beacon that just says "pile of dead squids," and left them there as a waypoint. Hmm. Would they stay that way, or would some of them come back to life? I, I just feel like they would do like um Welcome like, aboard, like an, Captain. Like an ink squid or something like that <laughs> would do and just squirt a bunch of ink and then take off. <laughs> and put this stuff over here. Bada bing bada boom, baby. And put the kyanite over here. Do I have a kyanite dedicated locker? Think I might. Yes. See so I have plenty of kyanite. That's good. We'll probably need it. Yeah. I guess that's it for now. 
Let me just turn off some of these waypoints. So yeah, Marge, we checked out Marge. We said hi. Oh, I'll be back here. Mm -hmm. We got a PDA from her. We got the organ blueprints. Yeah. We got the blueprints for um, like energy sources. Or oh, whatever. that's right. Yeah. So yeah, I still don't know how to use the laser, laser cutter there. It's fine. Uh, Marge, yep, thank you for that. Uh, last known position of the pilot. I don't, I don't think that's relevant anymore. I don't know why it's still marked as uh, not been there, because I'm pretty sure I've been there. Hmm. There uh, might be additional stuff there or something like that. Yeah, PK, been there. I thought I saw in one of the comments that um, like an antidote was left in one of the pangling caves or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, might need to follow up on that. I have not seen a whole lot in terms of in-game lore about the antidote. Wait, I think there's... I think the alien came here to cure the green pustule disease that its people contracted. Mm. But, um... I wonder, is this a sequel or a prequel? I think this is... I'm pretty sure this is a sequel. Okay. So I think we gotta give the alien a body and then find the antidote for it and it'll return to its people with the antidote. Mm -hmm. And then maybe along the way I'll find my sister Sam. It's kind of hoping that I find her because I, yeah. uh, I don't know where she is. Oh, test override module. Did I make that? I, I think I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I did. But the one thing I haven't made is tether tool. Teleport to a nearby sea truck teleportation module. Nice. All right. So I'll need to make one of those. I've got the ingredients for that. Easy enough. And the teleportation module. Oh yeah, I've got the ingredients for that. I can make that too. Yeah. I might want to leave the fabricator module behind because I, I don't know, a five section long truck might be a bit much, so I can leave behind the fabricator module probably. Yeah. Hopefully I don't need it. Yeah, I guess we'll do that next time. Yeah, that'll yeah. be a lot of fun. Yeah, we should definitely revisit it this at a, in the nearest future. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us in this little excursion into Subnautica yeah. Below Zero. Thank you for joining the stream, everybody. It's yeah. nice to see everyone. Mm -hmm. We'll do it again soon. Yeah. Because I feel like once we we found all three major components for the alien body, so just got to make it, figure out where the sister is, and uh, then call it good. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks for it. stopping on by, everybody. Yeah.